Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGM007 and today we look at the Click Shop plugin. So this is a really fantastic chess shop plugin which makes it super easy to create these really awesome good looking shops and it's highly customizable. So you can see I've got a few examples in front of me and I'm going to show you how to customize it and how to use it. So first of all, if we right click any of these, it's going to bring up the editing GUI. So there's quite a lot of stuff in here which we're going to go over, but over on the left what we can do is actually change the price and the products you're selling. So in this case, the price is a diamond pickaxe and that will allow someone to buy eight diamonds, which is actually a very, very good deal. So what we're going to do is end up changing that. So we can click the product to get rid of it and we're going to pop in there two iron ingots and we're going to hit save and you can see it says out of stock at the top so what we can do is go into the stock chest and pop in some iron ingots so people can start purchasing them and now it says shop open at the top you can also connect other chests that are external to this for various things and then we can customize the GUI and how the shop looks. So to go over all of that we're going to create a brand new shop so place down the chest and we're going to right click it with a sign and that's going to bring up the creation GUI. So here we put in the price of the item and the product so in this case we're going to put in 64 golden ingots for the price and that will buy a person 64 golden apples. So now that the shop has been created, we can go ahead and right click it and get into editing. So the first thing we're gonna look at is the additional chest. So we can have an earnings chest and a stockpile chest. For this, you need one ender chest and a normal chest or barrel. And now we need to link it. The way we do this is click, for example, the earnings pile that will create a tether between the two. And now we right click the ender chest and that has added that. And then we do the same for the stockpile you have that little tether, right click the chest, and now these chests are linked. For example, if we right click while holding shift the end of the chest, you can collect your earnings if you have any. And then this is where we could put additional stock if we didn't want to use this GUI or if it was full. And you could just pop them in here and that would allow people to use the chest. Now if we go into the customization bit, you can click the glass block here and that makes it look rather nice. And then what you can do is actually change the color of the glass by dragging and dropping a colored glass on top of it and you can see it's green now that looks kind of cool and then if we go back into it you can see we can change the base color so from wood to glass as well that looks kind of ugly but we're going to uh, deal with it we could change it back to wood if we wanted to or back to glass and you can see you can make it as cool looking as you like now we could set the frame in front if we wanted to and we can add a light so if i set it to nighttime, you can see the whole chest is glowing and then i can turn that on and off at my will which is kind of cool and then finally we can change the chest block to anything we wanted such as a glass block that looks really ugly um, but you can see that is how you customize it now finally if we added a frame display that obviously gets rid of the glass on top and just pops the item in the middle and that looks kind of cool as well so it's just whichever one you would prefer and now if you were to add another stockpile you can see the original one has a tether attached to it and you can just click to get rid of that if you don't want it anymore but that is how you would create and customize one of these chess shops as you can see it's super straightforward there's loads of customization you can even change the GUI colors just like this and that looks pretty fancy as well uh, but overall, very easy to do, and I'd highly recommend this for your server. So here we are on the Spigot page. You can see it's updated from 1.20, and it was only released last Wednesday. So it's a very, very new plugin, and there's loads of information and cool pictures and videos about it. So if you have any problems, you can come here and contact the developer. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.